Hi guys, today's class is all about a quick and fiery core flow. We're going to stabilise the pelvis, um, fire up the muscles of the abdomen, fire up the glutes as well. And you're going to start on your mat, lie down. So come down to lie, bring your heels, soles of your feet in towards each other, bring one hand onto the belly, one hand to the chest and breathe into your hands. Taking a moment of stillness before we start to move. As you inhale, your belly rises. Send the breath all the way into the chest, blowing the chest out like a balloon. Send it to the collarbones and exhale slowly. Let it go. Release. Inhale into the belly, into the chest, broaden through the collarbones. And again, exhale, let something go. Whether that's tension, whether it's a thought, whether it's a feeling. Inhale, last time. And exhale, release. Blink the eyes open. Bring the knees in towards each other. Give the knees a little hug before we start. Remember, modify as you need to. Never work into pain. This is your body. You know it best. So if anything's painful, please stop or lessen the intensity. So bring your feet down. Let's wake up the back body. So they're about hands distance for your body. Um, hip distance apart. Bring your brain into your glutes. Sounds a bit weird, but really think about them before you exhale and lift up. So you're lifting from your glutes. At the same time, you wanna engage the core. So think about the core like a diamond. Draw in the hip bones towards each other, lift the pelvic floor, draw the ribs in and hug the lower belly up and in. Keep squeezing from the glutes and notice this nice, stable, neutral pelvis. Don't let the ribs flare. Draw it down, hug everything in. Then lift your right knee up. Keep that nice neutral pelvis, extend the leg. Breathe here. Keep the engagement in the core, keep firing up that left glute. You can give, even give it a little poke, check it's on. Bring the arms up, take hold of the left wrist, pull them towards you. Breathe up, lift up, keep that engagement, draw the ribs in. Holding here, breathing here. And then exhale, slowly bring the right foot down. Left knee rises, pelvis stable again. Take hold of the right wrist as you extend that leg, maybe up, breathing into the back thigh. Engaging through that right glute, brain in the glute. Breathe here, ribs draw down, lower belly draws in. Holding for three, for two, for one. Slowly bring the feet down, release the wrists. Inhale, lift up through the shoulders. And then bring those arms overhead, just stretching, staying in your glute bridge. And you're gonna take some little pulses here, just up and down, squeezing the glutes, keeping the engagement to the core, breathing here. Don't forget to breathe. And inhale the arms back up and exhale. Stop pulsing and lower yourself all the way down. Let's wake up the front body now. So bring your knees over your hips, your shins are parallel. Hands come behind your head, basket the head. As we move through this, keep coming back to the diamond. Learn this all about the diamond from one of my favorite teachers and friend, Lara Hyman, and it really helps to visualize the area, makes that engagement even, even stronger, even better. So hug everything in. As you inhale, the elbows draw in. Exhale, lift up. Gaze down at the pelvis, visualize the diamond, draw everything into center, hold it here, hold off the shoulder blades. Then inhale, slowly release. Now we add on, exhale, lifting again, drawing everything into center, lifting off the head, off the shoulder blades. Straighten that right leg to about 70 degrees. Hug it into the hip, hip into the hip socket. Draw the sit bones towards each other, hug the diamond in. Inhale, release, all the way down. As you exhale, draw up. Draw in the diamond, extend the left leg. Again, hugging it in to the hip joint, keep lifting. Inhale, back to center, release. Again, adding on, exhale, lifting up. Right leg straight in 70 degrees. This time, take a twist over to the left hand side. Keep drawing the elbows in, keep lifting off the shoulder blades, particularly on that left hand side. Inhale, brings you back to center, release. Hopefully you can feel the fire burning in your belly now. Exhale, you lift up, left leg straight in 70 degrees, take a twist over to your right, keep drawing it in, checking those ribs. 
Inhale, back to center, release. If you see your ribs start to flare, then maybe lower a little bit, lower the upper body a little bit, or maybe take it back a level. So we're building each time. You can stay whatever level feels good for you. Again, one more time, we build on. Inhale, elbows draw in, exhale. Straighten the right leg, take a twist over to the left. This time, release the right arm, release the left. Take hold of your left wrist with your right hand and pull. Breathing here, it's hard. I can feel the burn myself. Inhale, everything comes back to center, release. Exhale, draw up, left leg straightens, twist to the right. Left hand comes across, take hold of the right wrist and pull. Breathing here, drawing it in for three, two, and one. Inhale, back to center, release. Bring the feet to the mat. Take a little twist, knees come to the left. The gaze comes to the right, make it an active twist, pushing the feet into the mat and pushing through that right glute, so stretching through the right side body. Inhale, knees come back to center, exhale, twisting to the other way. Again, energizing through the feet, pushing up, engaging through that left glute, breathing through the left side body. One more time. This is one of my favorites, guys. I did it on my Instagram a few days ago. If you saw it and tried it, you'll know it's a good one. So, eagle legs, and we'll come back to this in class. So you're gonna wrap the legs around each other. They can either go once or double cross, it doesn't matter. Again, bringing the arms up. Again, I learned this from Lara. <laughs> She's got some killer core. Inhale, elbows come in, exhale, you lift, draw everything in. Hug the inner thighs towards each other, like you're hugging a, um, a block between the thighs, and hug the sit bones towards each other. Inhale, release. Exhale. This time, take a little twist over to the left-hand side. Your right elbow comes towards your right knee. Draw everything in. Back to center. Release. Last time, exhale, you lift. Take that twist. This time, think about pressing the tailbone up slightly. Everything compacting in the core, breathing here. You can hear I can barely talk. For three, two, and one. Inhale, back to center. Whew, release. Lock them around the other way. If you want to do more of these, you can pause the video. Be my guest. Feel the fire burn. Inhale, elbows come in. Exhale, you lift. Draw everything in. Again, you can look down at the pelvis, visualizing that diamond shape, visualizing everything working. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift. Take that twist to the right. And squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Squeeze the sit bones towards each other. Inhale, back to center. Release. Everything firing your belly this is so good. It means for the rest of the class, you're going to move from a place of stability, from a place of strength. That's why I love the core. I have so much focus on the core in my classes. Inhale, elbows come in. Exhale, you lift. Take that twist to the right. Again, this time, slightly lifting the tailbone, compacting everything into center. Breathing here, being here. Lifting here. Inhale, back to center. Release. Bring your hands behind your thighs. Take some rock and rolls. Backwards and forwards. If this doesn't feel good, just rock on your side and come up any way you wish. You're going to cross your legs and you're going to step straight into downward facing dog. Pedal the knees, swing the hips. Do what you need to do here, breathing into the body. Then when you're ready, find a place of stillness. Push your hands really firmly into the mat. Hug the, um, externally rotate those upper arms. So hug the elbows in and that really helps to broaden across the shoulders, stabilize the shoulders. Lift the sit bones up so you get a lovely neutral spine. At the same time, draw the heels down and shine the back of the thighs to the back of the room. And think about that diamond. Don't let your ribs flare. Draw them in. Hug everything in. As you inhale, tiptoe all the way to the front of the mat. Coming up. Inhale, open, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep into your chair. Usually I do some sun salutations here. But given this is going to be a quick class, we're just going to go straight into it. Hopefully you're feeling super warm. Either hold it here or exhale, bring the hands down to the ground and let's have a little cheeky crow pose. So bringing the knees up towards the armpits, your gaze is forward, your breath is there. Push through the hands, protracting the shoulders, stabilizing and see if you can lift your feet in towards the bum. If you can just lift one at a time, that's absolutely fine. Exhale, release with control, inhale, 
everyone meeting in chair. Exhale, hands to the floor. Um, fold. <laughs> Losing my words. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Everyone step back, plank. Shine the eye of the elbow, this bit, towards the front of the room. Push into the hands. Lift the kneecap. Squeeze the glutes. Hug that diamond in. Exhale, drop the knees. Chest, chin, all the way down to the mat with control. Elbows don't dip. Shoulders don't dip even. Inhale, hug the arms back, gaze long. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, left, right leg lift. Exhale, with control, step the foot forward and inhale, lift up, warrior one. Exhale, take it to the back of the mat. Open up, warrior two, ground down through the feet. Windmill the hands, frame the foot. Exhale, step back, three-legged plank. Option to drop your knees or this time lowering into full Jataranga Dandasana. Inhale, breathe the chest open, open the heart. Squeeze the glutes, exhale, navel to spine, lift you up. Inhale, left leg rises, squeeze that glute, exhale, step the foot forward. And inhale, warrior one, back foot at 45, gaze comes up. Exhale, warrior two, front of the room. Lift through the arches, lift through the side waist. Wimble the hands, frame the foot, step back, three-legged plank. Gaze nice and long. Imagine my hand is on the back of your head. Push into it, length through the neck. Exhale, lower. Inhale, breathe the chest open. Pull the hands towards you. Exhale, hips to the sky. Again, let's tiptoe our feet forward, breathing into the backs of the thighs. Coming up to the top of the mat, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up, whoop, pinky from the hips. Exhale, hands to heart. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in. Take a long breath out. Maybe as you're here, bring to mind someone that you love, someone that makes you stronger and dedicate your practice to them. As you inhale, your arms come up. Exhale, hug everything in towards your midline. Folding from the hip joints, hands come to the earth. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, stepping or jumping back this time, taking your vinyasa or going straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, breathe the chest open, gaze long. Exhale, hips to the sky. Inhale. Now again, like I said at the beginning, bring your brain into that right glute, lift your right leg high, you can point the foot or flex the foot. Think about that neutral pelvis. So it's not wrong to open the hip, but that's just not what we're doing here. You're keeping it nice and neutral, draw the ribs in. Exhale, step your foot to the front of the mat, come onto the back knee. Inhale, lifting up, low lunge. Bring your hands into a fist, we're gonna come back to this, so interlace your fingers. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. Take a little side bend over to your right hand side. Hug your inner thighs towards each other. Draw that right foot back, really squeeze that left glute. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Can take a twist over to the right and connect your upper left arm to your thigh. You can hold it here or you can tuck your toe and lift up into a twisted lunge. Again, hug the inner thighs towards each other. Push that upper arm into the thigh, but keep the hands nice and soft, drawing them into your heart. Exhale, gaze down at that right foot and start to tip the body forward, lifting the left toes if you can, lifting into a twisted warrior three. Keep the focus on the diamond, and then when you're ready, step that foot to the front of the mat. Twisted chair with prayer arms. As you inhale, lift up chair. Exhale, hands come to prayer again. Ground down into that right foot, lift your left leg towards you. Don't let your hip jut out. Turn on those stabilizing muscles in your hip. Ground down through that right foot. Bring your legs over, back to this eagle leg position. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring your left knee behind your, whoop, I've lost my balance. Again, as you exhale, bring your left knee behind your right. Your left foot comes out to the left, so internally rotate. Exhale, inhale even, come back to eagle. Exhale, sit down into that little curtsy. Squeeze that right glute. Inhale, eagle. Last time, exhale, take that curtsy. 
This time bring the left foot over to the right and sit all the way down onto the mat. And take a little twist, right hand comes behind you, inhale, left arm comes up, exhale, twist, gazing over that right shoulder. Take a deep breath in, take a long breath out. As you inhale, find length. As you exhale, hug the navel in a little bit more and twist that tiny bit more. Next, exhale, take a counter twist to the other side. And you're gonna come a little bit of an awkward transition, but you're gonna step your left foot to the back of the mat, feet at 45, and you're gonna rise up into a goddess. Bring your hand onto your tummy, bring your hand onto your sacrum, onto your back, and hug the hands together like you're squeezing a two tube of toothpaste. Really breathe them into each other. And notice if you're sticking your bum out, if you're tucking in, come back to that really nice neutral pelvis. When you're ready, bring your arms up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and let's take some little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold here, breathe here. As you exhale, windmill the hands, frame the front foot, and step back, three-legged plank. Again, your body is moving, your pelvis, sorry, is not moving. You're moving from your hip joint. So as you exhale, drop the right foot. As you inhale, your left leg rises. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Keep the strength in your core. Move only from the hip joint. Notice if your pelvis is tipping. Your right foot now comes up and you're gonna lower down all the way onto your belly. Hands come back into locust. As you inhale, lift the upper body, lift the lower body. Draw up, breathe up. Squeeze the glutes, energize the leg. Keep gaze forward, neck long for three. Keep the connection to the diamond, two and one. Hands come under you. Actually, forearms come down. Tuck your toes or lift onto your knees and come up into a forearm plank. And then slowly tiptoe your feet forward into a dolphin. Your hands can be parallel or they can be together if you want some more space in the shoulders. You're gonna lift your right leg high and you're gonna think about that neutral pelvis. So bring those hips nice and square. As you inhale, lift the left heel. As you exhale, release. If you really wanna get upside down now and try a pincher or some kind of inversion, be my guest. Or flow with me, inhale, lifting the heel. Exhale, releasing, draw the ribs in, lift up, inhale, exhale, release, release the foot, release the knees, take a moment in child's pose, deep breath into the back ribs, breathe them up, puff them up, and exhale, let it go. One more time just like that, inhale, and let it go. Tuck your toes, lift up, downward facing dog, but straight away, bring your hands back towards your feet. Taking a little happy squat, so flexion at the ankles, lost the word for then, knees and hips. Take your hand back into that fist, bring your thumbs onto your head and let your head go. We live in a world where we're looking at our phones, we're looking at our computers, our head's always kind of jutting forward, we often have this thing, forward head. And this brings a lot of tension into the back of our skull, our occiput, and this really just helps to release it. And you're ready, release the fist to the floor, and inhale, lift up, ground down right foot, bring that fist to the sky, left foot comes in, again, stabilizing muscles working in that right hip, ground down, lift the arch, inhale, left leg rises, straightens even, exhale, bring it down, right leg in. Last time, inhale, lengthen, step it down, and this time hinging from the hip, coming into a warrior three. Now the bend in that right leg, you can bring your hands whoo, onto your thighs or to your heart, wherever they want to go. Keep the connection to your diamond, keep drawing that left foot back, energizing that right glute, squeezing that left glute, breathing here. Inhale, lift your left knee, into your chest, bring your hands behind you, interlace the fingers and open the chest, maybe even stretching that left foot forward, coming into a kind of upside down, no, normal size T. As you exhale, your left foot comes down, 
hip distance apart and you're going to fold. Arms come overhead, release, hug the lower belly up and in, breathe here. Draw the arms down, draw the sit bones up. Notice where your weight is on your feet. Maybe bring it slightly forward if it's going back towards the heels. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back. Take your vinyasa or going straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, squeeze the glutes if the heart open. Exhale, navel to spine lifts you up. Brain in the left glute now. Inhale, lift that left leg high. Square the hips. Squeeze the glute, lift that foot. As you exhale, step the foot to the front of the mat. Try not to lift the hands. Inhale, low lunge. Bring our hands into a fist. Inhale, lift the fist high and exhale. Take that bend over towards the left this time. Squeeze the inner thighs, hug that left foot back. Draw up through the side waist. Inhale, back to centre, hands come to heart. Next, inhale, open the chest, take a twist. Connect your upper arm with the thigh. Maybe tucking the toes, lifting the knee, hugging the inner thighs towards each other. Breathing here. Exhale, gaze down at the left foot. Tip the weight forward and see if you can lift that right leg. I've completely lost my balance. <laughs> see if you can lift that right leg up. It's hard. I'm showing you it's hard. We have days where we fall, just smile. If you're going to fall up something, smile. Breathing here. Particularly into that left side of the hip and then step the foot forward. Twisted chair. Gazing up towards that left shoulder. If that feels comfortable, keep your gaze down to the ground. Your right knee's gonna wanna come forward, keep rolling it back. Inhale, sweep into the chair. Lift through the left foot this time. Right knee comes in, hands come to your heart. Bring that right leg over the left. Eagle. Take a deep breath in, brain into that left glute, make it work. As you exhale, right knee behind left knee, right foot to the right, curtsy. Inhale, back to centre, eagle. Exhale, curtsy, squeeze the glute, this is such a fiery one. Inhale, last time. Exhale, come all the way down onto your mat. Left hand behind you, inhale, right arm lifts, exhale. Maritiasana, twist. So each inhale, find that space, find, find that length. Each exhale, twist that tiny bit more. And as you exhale, take a counter twist to the other side. You guys are gonna step your right foot to the back of the mat coming into goddess. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. Again, coming back here whew, into your goddess. Put your hands onto your hips. Then pull your hands away from you and you're going to take some little, um, God, I don't know if you're thought of a name for these, but you're just going to take some like shoulder shrugs, stride to side to side, but you're not moving your pelvis, you're moving your upper body. Everything's drawing in, so you feel really strong at your centre, at your core. Don't let the knees collapse in, keep pushing them out, reaching from side to side with the fingertips, feeling... <laughs> Like a goddess, like a god, breathing here. Again, noticing if you want to tip in the pelvis, trying to keep that neutral alignment for three, four, two, and one. We're mill hands, frame that left foot. Step back into your one-legged plank. Again, find your strength here, then drop that left foot. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Squeeze the glute. The glute is helping you move. Lift, exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Two more times, release and lift, stay with the breath and lift. Release now all the way down to the ground, drop your knees if you need to. As you inhale, you lift up into your locus, lifting the lower body, lifting the upper body, squeezing the glutes, energizing the legs, holding here, breathing here for three, four, two, four, one. Hands come underneath you. No, they don't. I don't think it's twice in a row now. Hands come, you're coming into your forearms and you're tucking your toes and you're lifting up into forearm plank. Then straight away, coming back to your dolphin again. Option to have the hands interlaced or parallel the arms. And again, you can option to come into any inversion. But if you're going to stay with me, you're going to lift your left leg high. Walk those right feet in if they're not in already. And as you inhale, lift your right heel. Exhale, drop it down three more times. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Left foot comes down, knees come down. Child's pose. Turn the palms to face the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, breathe into those back ribs and release. Last time, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, tuck the toes as before, walking the hands back towards the feet, bending ankles and knees, the hips, bringing your hands into that universal fist, bringing the thumbs to your forehead and letting everything go. Releasing here, being here, noticing where your thoughts go. Gently bringing them back. Our minds will wonder 10, 20, 30 times. That's absolutely fine. Recognizing it, that is mindfulness. Next, inhale, you're gonna rise all the way up. Ground down through that left heel, lift the right knee into your chest. Inhale, legs straightened, foot comes down. Exhale, left knee in towards you. Reach up with the fingers, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step it down, and again. Warrior three, neutral pelvis, your hands can go there ooh, to help you. Sometimes I think it's harder to balance when you have a wall or a surface knee because you know you can hold on to it. So breathe here, find that diamond, then inhale, lift your right knee into your chest. Ooh, bring your hands behind you, open the heart and perhaps lengthen that right foot away from you. Whoa. And then don't fall. <laughs> bring the feet together and take a fold. I've never actually done this before, like completely lost my balance while filming a video. But there you go, I'm human too. We all have our days. Breathing here. I'm gonna to start to slow down now. As you exhale, you're gonna release the hands. Inhale halfway, exhale, plant the hands. Taking a final vinyasa or coming straight to your downward facing dog, your choice. Inhale, heart opens. Squeeze those glutes and exhale, hips to the sky. Right leg lifts, permission this time, bend the knee, completely open that hip. Stay here, squaring through the shoulders, or flip your dog to a count of three, two, toes meet the ground. Breathe the chest up, wild thing. Squeeze the glutes, push those hips high, breathe the chest open. As you exhale, take it back to three-legged dog, bring your right knee to your right wrist, pigeon pose. Flex the right foot before come down, coming down. Come up onto your fingers, pull them towards you, energize the legs, see if you can lift the hands. Inhale, exhale, you fold. Now if you need to, grab a block, place it under this right hip, or perhaps place it under your forehead. Just find that connection with the mat, close your eyes, and we're gonna take five breaths here and completely release. And when we release the face, release the head, particularly the jaw, it helps open our hips even more. Last time, deep inhale, and let it go. Inhale, tiptoe, those feet, this fingertips towards you. You're gonna swing that left leg all the way around and over the top of the right, so lift the hips. See if you can stack those legs and sit down in between the heels. If it's too much, you can have this right leg straightened. Instead of doing cow face arms, bring your hands to your hips and take some little belly rolls. So moving with your breath. These are one of my favorite things to do now. Breathing into the hips, finding where those hips are feeling most sticky. Three circles one way, three circles the other. Last time. Oh, enjoying the sensations in your body, enjoying the movement. Release the legs. Cross them, roll over and come into a downward facing dog. Move, otherwise I'm gonna hit the door. Inhale, your left leg rises again, bend the knee. Permission to open that hip. Flipping your dog, if you wish. Two, three, two, and one. Toes lightly come down, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips, breathe the heart open. Ooh, take out the plant, 
for three, two, and one. As you exhale, come all the way around, left hand meets the ground, left knee, left wrist, chin across the mat, foot flexed. Again, pull back on the fingertips, lift, ground down through the um, round down through the legs, inhale, lift the arms, exhale, fold. Optional block under that left hip or under the forehead. Again, five breaths here, release. Focus on the ribs, on the back of your body, bring them up towards the ceiling and let something go. As you inhale, just take those hands back towards you. Bring that right leg all the way to the front of the mat. Take it over the left. Cow face legs, hands on your hips, and again, taking those circles. Noticing if this side feels different. We are all asymmetrical. We're much too interesting to be completely perfect, to be completely symmetrical. Exhale. Take those little rolls the other way. Last time. Come back to centre. Release the legs. Give your legs a little squeeze. Let's do one last bit of core. So, bring your hands behind your thighs. Really lift. Find length through the spine, length through the crown of the head. You can release the hands if you wish. You're going to lift your ooh, my feet all the way. Lift your left leg. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> My leg is shaking. You can lift the fingertips in front of you. Exhale, drop the leg. Inhale, lift the right leg. Breathing here. Extend through the back, through the spine. Hug the navel in, connect to the diamond. And then lift both legs up. Again, you can have your hands behind your thighs. You can straighten the legs wherever you need to be. I'm shaking today, so I'm staying here. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring yourself all the way down onto the ground to the count of five. Four, round through the back. Three, two, and one. Release. Legs hug in. Give them a squeeze. And then one more time in a look how face cross legs position. Bring the right leg over the left. This doesn't matter which way you go, actually. And then draw the legs towards you in this kind of supine cow face legs. And you can have a little wiggle from side to side or move the Legs up and down, find which feels best for you. And then when you're ready, drop the feet to the earth and take the legs over to the left, your gaze over to the right. Back where we begun in this supine twist. Let your body absorb your practice. Again, for the next few minutes, when thoughts come in, gently let them go. Inhale, back to centre, reverse, back cross, left leg in front of the right, hug the feet in towards you, playing around with lowering and lifting the feet and noticing which feels better, push your sacrum into the mat. Exhale, release the feet, release the knees over to the right, your gaze comes to the left. Bring you through centre, release the legs, hug them in one last time. Take a huge breath in, lift the head. And as you exhale, everything releases. Left foot comes down, outer edge of the mat, right foot comes down. Let the feet hang heavy, let the palms face up. Fingers curl in naturally. With me, take a huge breath in. And let it go. Spend as much time as you need here in Shavasana. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Wishing you all so much love, health and happiness.